What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to some of my most viewed videos on my channel. I'm pretty excited for this, but nowhere in this is me bragging about my views and my videos and stuff like that. And I'm only going to be reacting to the videos that have reached over a thousand views, so I think I have right now 10 videos I'm just going to be basically be talking about. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because... Some of the videos that, for me, that have reached over a thousand views are ones that honestly I didn't feel that were going to do very good, but I still put a lot of work into them. Some of my videos I put a lot of work into doing, and I'm really proud that they reached over a thousand views, and some of them it's kind of a funny story and kind of ironic as to why it reached over a thousand views. So that's kind of, what, kind of why I wanted to make this video in the first place. So let's just get right into it. Up first with 1,017 views is last year's NHL playoff predictions video that I recorded. And honestly, this is one of the videos that I wasn't expecting to reach over 1,000 views. I was expecting under 100, to be honest with you. This is something that, given with the success of this video, I know 1,000 views isn't much, but for me it is, and it's something that I'm really proud of. It definitely means that I'm going to continue this series moving forward throughout the years because it's something that's, as I've mentioned before on my channel, I'm a huge fan of NHL, and I really want to dive into the stats, and I'm really dedicated to looking at the stats, following players, following teams. And whenever I came up with the idea last year to make a prediction video for the playoffs, to see this video, the first one that I did, get over a thousand views, I was really happy and really excited for, and I'm definitely going to continue this in the future. And it's definitely one of those that I honestly didn't feel was going to reach over a thousand views, but I'm really glad it did because it means all of the hard work of me following NHL and keeping up with the stats and that paid off because it's something that people wanted to see, at least on my channel in some form. Next up is pretty much the funniest one that reached over a thousand views. And that is, well, first it reached over... 1,000 views, it reached 1,124 at the time I'm recording this video, and that is Until Dawn Episode 8. This is back whenever I was recording gaming videos here and there, and I did a lot of trials on the PS4 of seeing what games worked and different things like that, and I remember playing a whole bunch of different games up to, I think, 10 episodes each game, and kind of tested the water, and this is the only one that became successful because of what the episode title was so until dawn episode 8 sex in the woods that is what i titled it because in the game until dawn one of the scenes it's getting pretty erotic and then all of a sudden the monsters come and kidnap the female and you have to go and try to rescue her so i just thought that was a really creative and funny title back then i was getting ads on my channel so it was just literally a couple cents but it got demonetized the video, which makes sense. I, I didn't really care about it. It wasn't really losing any money, just like literally a couple cents. So I was okay with that. But over the years, seeing that this video came out in August 12th, 2017, literally a year and a half later, it started to get a lot of views. And I know exactly why. It's because people are searching videos that are related to sex and sex in the woods and different things like that because YouTube actually tells me that and they end up running across my video and watching my video so it's kind of funny how it reached over a thousand views as to that's why but it is my most successful video game episode video that I've ever done and it's it's kind of funny that it reached over a thousand views to be honest with you next up is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas my PS4 cheat codes video this reached 1196 views this is one of the ones again I honestly did not feel was going to do that well and I kept pushing it back as to when I was going to upload it I think I kept pushing it back for almost a month and then finally I was like you know what, let's just upload it and see how it does because I needed something to upload that day. Ended up uploading it and it came out September 6th. First month it did about 200 views and then all of a sudden it skyrocketed up to over a thousand views. So I was not expecting that. I was expecting hopefully to get 50 to maybe 100 views, but to get over a thousand views for a video that I honestly put a lot of work into. I looked up a bunch of the PS4 cheat codes 
tried them in the game. I did a lot of editing for that, and I felt it was a lot of fun. And also, because of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the PS4, if you do any cheat codes prior to beating the game, it disables all the trophies. And as you guys know, I'm a trophy hunter, and I wanted to get the platinum, which I ended up doing. So at the end of the game, I decided to make this video and finally test out the cheat codes. And all that hard work finally paid off for getting almost 1,200 views. Next up is my most successful story time that I've done on my channel. And that is the engine replacement when I used to work in my previous job where the manager actually screwed up and had to order like six or seven engines because he kept ordering the wrong ones or faulty ones. Um, it's one that a lot of people hated but a lot of people also enjoyed. It got 1,307 views. It came out in June 15th, 2018, and I honestly can't remember when I quit, but it wasn't too long after that. But honestly, this was one of my favorite videos to record. It was a great story to tell video-wise, but for it to get over 1,300 views, that was awesome. And at one point, this was my most viewed video back then, and it held its place for about six to eight months until some of my other videos started to take off. Next up is Tee Public versus Red Bubble. This one came out to June this past summer, 2019, and it got, currently it is at 1,355 views. It's basically me testing out two t-shirt companies and seeing quality, price, the print itself, and seeing how everything works. And honestly, comparing Tee Public to Red Bubble, Redbubble is a Canadian company. Uh, they actually, one owns the other now, surprisingly, but Redbubble, the t-shirts are really low quality. The print itself is low quality, but if you live in Canada, it is a cheaper alternative. TeePublic is a really high quality of shirt. The print is really high quality, but if you live in Canada, it's higher price for you because of the uh, price differences and also shipping's a little bit more. But for me, I would always go with TeePublic. But that video explaining the differences, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people that are branding themselves want to know what's the difference between different companies. So me testing out these two and sharing my honest opinions in a video to get over 1300 views, that really felt good for me for a video. Next is Wicked Audio Headphone Review. This is my first product review I did on my channel. It came out December 18th, 2017. Literally at the time I uploaded this video, I might have gotten maybe 20 views and that's it. One year later, going to the holidays for 2018, it started to really pick up to the point that it is currently at 1,381 views. A lot of people are looking into Wicked Audio right now. It's my favorite headphone product or audio product. It's the only thing I use for whenever I'm editing my videos or gaming for a headset or pretty much anything, if I'm watching YouTube videos or Netflix or anything, if I want to use headphones, Wicked Audio for me is the way to go. And literally, right after, right about a year after I uploaded this video, it really started to take off, and I'm assuming it's going to do the same every holiday moving forward, because Wicked Audio itself is starting to take off. Next up is my uh, favorite unboxing video to do. And it's me unboxing my silver PlayStation 2 Slim. I uploaded this in March 2019. It's at 1,747 views. I honestly remember playing the PS2 whenever I was a kid. I wanted to get one again, so I bought one off of eBay. I think I paid $60 for it, but it came with two controllers and all of the wiring. It works perfectly. I've been playing uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 on it because I love GM mode. And honestly, making this video, a lot of people really enjoyed it. It's still getting the views. And I'm really surprised because none of my unboxing videos in the past really seemed to take off. But this one actually did. So I'm really surprised and happy that it did. Next up are videos that are getting a lot higher in views. The first one is the first video where I'm talking about CBSA, Canada's Border. Uh, where I'm talking about my future plans, where I want to be a CBSA agent. The first time I think I mentioned it on a, my channel. Right now it's at 2,384 views. It keeps getting more and more views because a lot of people are looking into CBSA. So I kind of looked through and I was kind of explaining how CBSA works and different things like that and what I want to do with it and why I want to get into CBSA. So 
for a video talking about my future career and what I'm working towards getting the views, I was really happy with, but it definitely isn't something I was expecting. And then my next CBSA video was the uh, CBSA entrance exam where I'm sharing tips and what to expect for the test because I ended up taking the entrance exam. I ended up failing, but I wanted to share some tips along the way to possibly help others and kind of explain how the exam is without sharing any details because I can't do that unless if I do, if I shared details on the actual exam, I would get disqualified from CBSA and I would not be able to apply. So I didn't do that for this video, but it is literally one view short away from 4,000 views. It is at 3,999. So that video there, again, it's not something I was expecting, but a lot of people are researching and looking up videos and looking up content all over the internet for CBSA. And I want to share an entrance exam tips video, just kind of helping people and knowing what the exam's actually going to be like, even though I failed giving some of the details of how it works and that it is in four parts and each part you have to pass instead of passing the entire thing. It is going to help people in the long run and basically what to expect and different things like that. So I wanted to share those tips and for me, the views were awesome, but just me helping people know how the CBSA entrance exam will be whenever they take it was worth it in on its own. And then going from there, the next two, my top two viewed videos have skyrocketed in not too long. So the first one was January 19th, 2019 that I uploaded this and it is my PlayStation 4 blue light of death, easy fix video. This is how I fixed the blue light of death on my PS4 and it worked for me at the time. Months later, my PS4 had other problems. So I did have to end up purchasing another PS4, a new PS4. But at the time, it fixed the problems I was having with the blue light of death. Currently, it is just over 75,000 views. It's not anything I was expecting to get for it. But a lot of people are having problems with the PS4. And a lot of people started searching and looking up how to fix it. And I ended up helping out quite a few people that were having issues with their PS4. A lot of people say... That's what I mentioned in this video. They tried it. Some people say it worked for them. Some people said it didn't, but it definitely was worth checking out. And it is definitely a cheaper alternative than trying to replace your hard drive and everything else or sending it to somebody for repairs. Trying out easy fixes is something that I would recommend. And I wanted to share that in the video and for it to get 75,000 views. I'm really proud and I'm happy that I was able to not only help people, but that people were actually interested in enough to get that many views. And my top video is how to game share on the PlayStation 4. This is something that me and my friend wanted to do for a really long time. We looked up other methods online, couldn't find out. So I actually reached out to Sony and they shared with me into detail on how to do it. We tested it out, it worked for us. So I made this video explaining how we got it to work. And out of all of the views, a lot of people said that this helped them out, that it worked for them. A lot of people also had a lot of questions as to what else they can do or what else they can try, or they had a bunch of other questions. So I ended up making a another video sharing and trying to answer all the questions people had for this video. This video came out in May 25th, 2019. And it is at 101,000 views. It finally reached 100,000 views. And it's definitely not something I, ex I expected. Neither one of these videos, the Blue Light of Death or my Game Share video, I wasn't expecting to reach that many views. I just basically wanted to share with the Blue Light of Death how to fix the Blue Light of Death and how I got it to fix. And it's helped other people as well. And whenever I made the game sharing video, I just wanted to share how me and my friend got game sharing to work because that's how Sony explained to us how it to work and it worked for us. It hasn't worked for everybody. A lot of people have also other questions, but in this video too, I had the most comments, but it's a lot of people asking others to game share with them and giving their PlayStation ID on the comments of this video. Whenever I see those comments, I delete them because Sony themselves say only game share with somebody that you trust. And if you're sharing with somebody that you find on YouTube in the YouTube comments and giving them your information, that's not somebody you know, that's not friends, family, and that's definitely not somebody I would trust. So I've always been deleting those comments. 
But for that video to reach over 100,000 views, I was extremely thankful. So nowhere in this is me trying to brag about my views and that because honestly, other than those two top videos, everything else is kind of low on the view count. But some of them are funny stories. Some of them are videos that I was not expecting to get that many views. I was expecting around 50 to 100 views. Same with my top two videos, 75,000 and 100,000 views. I wasn't expecting that much. I was maybe hoping for around 1,000, but they've been doing anywhere from 15 to 20,000 a month ever since. So I'm extremely thankful, but I definitely wasn't expecting this. So this is basically me reacting and explaining some of my most viewed videos and what I honestly think of each video getting to where it is currently with the views and how it got there and a funny story along the way. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.